Okay, I wanted to point out on this sequencer, because we're going to replace this sequencer with a stack type sequencer. Now, the way this one's set up, this one has a heater right here, that HTR. That's the heater that pr provides the time delay for this thing to start. Because this is a time delay relay. It takes a number of seconds for all the elements in the fan to come on. So when you power this heater, then the rest of this thing is going to sequence on. Now they sequence by the numbers. Okay, I'm going to put my fan across that one. And I will have three and four, which this is three, a little hard to see. And this is four. That these, this set of contacts here and this set close at the same time. So when the fan comes on, the first element comes on. You can see this little switch between these. This is hard to, to make sense out of this thing, but it does, it does actually work this way because it, it seems like they're just randomly placed. Okay, after another short time, between five and six will close. This switch here will close, so another element comes on. And then after another time length, seven to eight will close, so this little switch here closes. Now when you shut off the heater, that means the thermostat is satisfied, then this thing goes in exactly the opposite way. Seven and eight open first, five and six open second, then three and four here, and F1 and F2 open at the same time. The way this is set up is F1 and F2 and element one under three and four, first on, last off. Because you don't want these elements on, these other elements on after the fan shuts off. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to transfer that to a stack type sequencer. Okay, now I have a stack type sequencer here. This one is not really the correct sequencer. It is a three stack rather than a four. I didn't have a four stack. Uh, there's not a lot of difference between these two. Uh, we have an M1 and an M2. Okay, that's the first set of contacts. First to come on. Remember, these are time delay relays. Okay, M1 and M2 come on at the same time. M3 and M4 come on at the same time as M1 and M2. Okay? So you can use the fan and the first element. Uh, the same as you did with your Honeywell sequencer, you just simply substitute F1 and F2 for M1 and M2. So they will come on first. Then we have M6 and M5. They will come on, and right above it, what would normally be there, is M7 and M8. And they will come on. And then when it cycles off, M7 and M8 shut off, usually at the same time as M5 and 6 shut off. And then again, first on, last off, M2 and M1, M4 and M3 shut off at the same time. Now, down here, these are copper colored. The rest of these are kind of a silver color. But these are copper colored, and there's four of them. These are the heaters. Now when you, you buy this sequencer, generally there is a jumper between here and here. And also a jumper between here and here. That jumper does have to be there. Don't jumper across or something like that. Jumper from here to there. Uh, most these sequencers come with this. Okay, then I would put my heater terminals, either one of them, one on here and one on here. That's that HTR terminals that were on the Honeywell sequencer. I'm also going to 
include a picture from the uh, White Rogers uh, install instructions. They make this sequencer and it operates this way. I would not necessarily use this sequencer with this number on it. Uh, I would use the uh, White Rogers sequencer and I'm going to follow up here with a picture of the uh, of the install instructions for that. So I hope this uh, makes sense so that you can switch these out. This, the old Honeywell sequencer is still available. I have seen it in places and it was an excellent sequencer. It was far better than this type of sequencer. However, uh, you may not be able to find it. Depends on who you are and who you know, I guess. Uh, and you may have to put this sequencer on it. Hope this one helps. Okay, here's the page out of the uh, White Rogers install instructions. You're looking for uh, 24A34-6. That's third from the bottom. That has the four switches on it. That's the one you're looking for. Uh, it will time correctly. Uh, it, both the M1 and M2, M3, and M4 come on at the same time, and they're the first on, the last off. That's a sequencer that will work, and um, I hope I've made this clear enough so that you can understand how to switch out these sequencers.